Hey guys, Jeff here. Welcome back to Smart Shenanigans. Don't mind me, just hanging out on the tailgate, facing away from this beautiful view, the usual. Welcome to Friday in April. First Friday of April for that matter. Unless you're watching this like years down the road, today was Friday, the first Friday of April, 2024. We're camping today and we are back down here on the Snake River where we were last month because these spots are awesome and they're usually pretty open. There's a bunch of them, so they're not really all that packed, at least earlier in the year we found out so far. Pretty, these are pretty nice spots. So we are actually one spot over from where we were last month. Last month we were like right behind you guys. So we're here and uh, we're gonna camp in the truck again. We've got campfire stuff going. Today was like the first beautiful day of the year. We had like 65 degree sunny weather. It was awesome. Heck, let's get set up. <laughs> let's get set up. I don't have the mic on. I brought chairs today. One chair. Two chairs. <sighs> Best part about camping in the truck is that's all the setup I have to do. I already have the bed set up from last time. I didn't even tear it down last time. All I had to do was in between just kind of like fold it in half so I could still use the bed and then just unfold it. When we pulled up, somebody had left a fire actively burning in that camping spot. That's where we were last month. We pulled up and like there were actual flames. <laughs> Get that fingers. There were actual flames coming out of that pit. So we went over there and put out the fire and then uh, came over to this spot because it's more pretty. But as a message to anybody who's using these kinds of sites, put out your dang fire when you leave. That's basic fire safety. Come on, be better. So we're going to put this down so that we have a contained fire. Um, and I don't have gloves, but probably shouldn't be touching rusty metal with my bare hands. And neither should you. So I'm going to use paper towels that we will then later burn in the fire anyway. And keep the feet well out. Not too bad. The intrusive thought to like push the chair so far back that I fall backwards just to the bit. Just... <laughs> okay, so the people that left the fire still running also left a bunch of trash over there, like this cardboard and some other stuff. So we're gonna kind of, as we get the fire burning, burn some of their trash <laughs> uh, to clean up the area, leave no trace. Um, but we're gonna use this cardboard to start the fire and I'm gonna unload all the fire wood over to here so it's easy to just throw on there. We're not gonna start the fire yet. Maybe once it gets a little darker, we'll start it, but I'll, I might get it built now. So the reason I have four bundles of firewood is because store-bought wood burns very quickly and I don't have access to non-store-bought wood, at least easily where I live. The places that I would get it from are either three hours north of here or two hours west of here. So, store-bought wood it is. Where's the rest of ya? Yeah. Me too, buddy. Oh my god, you're going above me. Oh no. The sacrifices I make. My socks are wet now. Worth it. I realized I have these in my car. I also have not played baseball in a very long time.
We started the fire. It was always burning, except for when we weren't here. New single coming out soon. Now my theory with this fire, since it burns so quickly with this wood, is we're gonna keep the fire somewhat small and hope that it burns less quick that way. Okay, so we're gonna put like a log there. I tend to prefer doing like two logs, two logs, and then the kindling in the middle, but that tends to create a larger fire that burns pretty quick. So I'm gonna do not that. Put it under there, some good kindling. Okay, now that I've got the lighter, we're gonna also use some of this cardboard because I wanna get rid of it. Put that down there. And some of this over here. Why not? <laughs> get angry at me in the comments for how I'm building a fire, please, I beg of you. All right, we're gonna start this thing. And sit back and let it do its thing. Let the fire fire. I'd say it's firing pretty well so far. <laughs> oh yeah, that's too far. Actually, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells good. I love the smell of a campfire. Looks like it lit the top one already. Dang, mm -hmm. not bad. All right, there we go. And don't worry, any extra trash, like the plastic around these, I will be taking home and throwing away. So we've got jalapeno cheddar brats, the usual. So let's go ahead and open this up and get some brats over there. Mm, I'm gonna do a Madden angle. It's leaning a little bit that way, so. Okay, there's four brats. Let's let those cook. All right, let's roll them over a little bit. I uh, forgot to bring tongs, so we're just doing this with our hands for now. Actually, that one should stay there. This one needs to like stop rolling that way. There we go. That one can sure. That'll work. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and get all four buns out because we'll need them. One, two, three, four. But those are pretty much done, so they're starting to crack open nice and hot. Don't do this at home. Use tongs. Use the correct utensils. Don't be like me. Do as I say, not as I do. Or do you, but do it smartly and not dangerously. I take zero legal responsibility for anything you do. There we go. Turn that off. And just like that, we got four nicely cooked brats. All right, so we've got our brats. I personally just like ketchup and mayonnaise on mine, but to each their own. And uh, yeah, let's, let's take a bite. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's very good. All right, I'm gonna eat the rest of this, but yeah, see you guys in a minute. All right, so it's about 11.30, so I'm gonna head to bed. Just kind of have a podcast on, slowly drift off to sleep, I guess. Been a really good evening, actually. Uh, really like this location along the Snake River here. It's beautiful, it's easy, it's 30 minutes away from where I live. Like, this is an ideal location. Every once in a while, you get a car going by, like maybe once every 30 minutes kind of thing. Like, 
maybe a train i have yet to see a train go by so far on this trip we saw one or two go by on the last trip so it's not bad at all i'll still mix it up for other videos still but this is gonna be a good like go-to kind of thing like last minute i have nothing else i guess i'm coming here kind of thing or even just recreationally just coming here because this is so great but oh boy so a little backstory for why this camping trip has been so needed and feels so nice um i've been busy <laughs> i uh have been working full time at the art museum where i work and i love that job wouldn't trade that job for the world that job is amazing it's so much fun i get to work with artists i get to work with really cool artwork and do all kinds of fun stuff. I do art transport where I drive artwork from places like to other places. It's super fun. Installs and deinstalls is the main gig. And that's kind of what we're doing right now is installs and deinstalls. And uh, it's so much fun. But it is a lot of work. Right now I'm doing about 40 hours there. As well as all the YouTube stuff. Which is making videos, making YouTube shorts. I do, I'm trying to do as many videos as I can right now. Um, the goal is at least Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so three videos a week, but kind of so far has been two a week. Um, and then I do two YouTube shorts a day. So one at noon, one at 4 PM every single day, seven days a week. And I live stream every Sunday, starting at 11 AM for a few hours for like usually three or four hours. So all of that combined adds up to quite a lot of work. It's like, I want to say 35 to 40 hours of work there. So on top of the art museum work, so I've been busy. And then on top of all of that, I'm also an audio engineer and I run sound for a few places. So that just adds on top of that. So I've been quite busy. So this camping trip has been a very nice, like, <sighs> breath of fresh air, literally and figuratively. This has been needed. I'm I'm so tired, uh, but I having so much fun and wouldn't trade it for the world. And I want to thank you guys for coming along on that adventure as well. You guys are so supportive and just absolutely amazing. I couldn't ask for a better like fan base, Shanana fans. You guys are awesome. So thank you for that. There's a car going by. I'm gonna pause for a second. There's like, there's right there is like the one car every 30 minutes or so. It's probably been about 30 minutes since the last car went by, if not a little more than that, actually. But yeah. <laughs> and, and if you didn't know, there are multiple ways to support me and connect with me. One is free. It's Discord. Discord is awesome. It's a great community space. We've got the Shanana Fans Discord that is linked in the description of every video, including this one. And that's a free server for you guys to communicate with each other, to connect with other Shanana fans, as well as to connect with me. It's a great support base. Like, just feel free to check it out. It's always there for you. And the other great way to support me is through Patreon. And Patreon, for those who don't know, is like a monthly subscription service. But instead of like Netflix and stuff like that, Hulu or any of those subscription services, you're subscribing to me directly. And in return, at the $10 a month level, I provide extra content. I do extra videos. I also do extra gameplay, just kind of extra behind the scenes stuff for you guys there. The $5 a month level also has access to the soundboard on the Discord, as well as a private chat and uh, voice channel. So text and voice channel on the Discord. And every level above that gets you access to the videos as well as your own private channels, text and voice for each of those levels. So come say hi in the Discord. And if you have some spare change, feel free to throw it my way. You can go as low as $1 a month. So whatever you can give, if you have the opportunity to give any extra, I would always appreciate your support there. That helps me to continue doing these things and justify the amount of time that I spend on these things. And even if you can't, just liking, subscribing and sharing my videos is a huge help. One little flaw with these lights is that the switch is up behind the 
like on the other side of the steering wheel from here. So I have my steering wheel and then like down here on the left hand side, the dr further towards the driver's side of the car, I have a little switch panel that has four switches on it. And these lights are the second switch. The first switch is the light bar. So the, the problem with this is I get to use this pole now and <laughs> try, <laughs> try to reach up there and flick the second switch. And if I accidentally hit the first switch, I turn on my light bar and just blast to the side of the mountain that's in front of us. Uh, um, but yeah. And if I hit the third switch, it turns on the interior lights up there. And the fourth switch is like some other lights around the car. So I have a lot of ways this could go wrong. It worked fine last time. We'll see how well it works this time. <laughs> I've got like some chairs. The chairs we were sitting in, I put in the cab of the truck. Because <laughs> I didn't trust somebody not to steal them. So I put them in the cab of the truck. <laughs> so I have to reach around those to get to the switch. Oh my God, it's going to be chaos. But you, I'll take you along for the ride. So <laughs> let's do that, I guess. And then I'm going to go to bed. But I'll turn those lights off. You guys will see that. And then I will see you tomorrow morning. And I'll just update you tomorrow morning. Oh, I can see the switch. Okay. Oh, God. Careful. See it? Oh, I think I got it. Oh, I can see them slightly turning off. Please. Push it. Come on. I can do it. Oh, my God. Ow. Oh, my God. I gotta get a better system for this. This is absurd. Why do I do this? I, sh I, I can wire in a better system than this. I don't know why I chose to wire it this way. There's so many better ways to wire this. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll figure out a better system for this, but I have other priorities first. That's the red light. That's the top of the button. And I need to push the bottom of the button. I need to be just below that red light, which should be here. What? I'm gonna try to use the flash of the of the recording to see the button better. Okay, okay. I, I think I can I can see the button. The switch is right there. I just need to reach far enough forward. Get better grip on this. Reach far enough forward. See it? I can get it. Come on, please. Oh no. I said be careful to turn the other switches on. I got it. Yes, let's go. Oh my god. That was not as difficult last time. I don't know why that was so difficult this time. It was not nearly as difficult last time. Okay. Um, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Shabadabadoo. That's a different guy. I can't steal that. I don't remember what that guy's name is, but he's cool. He's fun. He's British, I think. Yeah, he says see you in the morning, Shabba Dabba Doo. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Not a bad sleep. I uh, woke up a few times throughout the night. I mean, just rolling over, but actually not too bad of a sleep. It wasn't too cold. For the most part, I was actually pretty warm in this sleeping bag. There was like one point where I was actually kind of too warm, but this morning is pretty chilly, but the sun feels really good. So the sun is heating me up. Good camping trip, successful camping trip so far. The best part about camping in the back of the truck is everything's already packed up. All I have to do is move those chairs back to here and take off, which is wonderful. Not sure how well you guys can hear it, but the wind has picked up a little bit today. Oh, the sun just feels so good, I don't want to move. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to put my shoes on and hop on out and just kind of take off, I guess. Now, I'd really like to figure out some way of locking this from the inside, because last night I just had my girlfriend push it in, basically, before she left. Uh, but I'm thinking of doing like some sort of like basically just a tie down from here to the hook down here and same thing on that side or even just over the top of it with a tie down to either side to keep it locked in because this would be really easy for somebody just to really quietly open and steal stuff so without waking me up. Oh, 
I made it work. We're good. So yeah, we just lift that up, kick the tailgate down, and hop on out into the beautiful sun. So for those with a keen eye, this is where Mason and I were fishing in the last video. Mason was standing on that rock and I was standing on that rock. The water has come up, the tide has come up today in the morning. So it's covered the rock that I was standing on. And actually yesterday I even took some shots down here and was using the rocks to hold the phone up. So that's kind of fun. But the wind's been blowing, so the waves are kind of cool today, so. Not too bad. Yesterday while we were at the store on the way here, figured they'd make a pretty good breakfast. I just wanted to thank you guys again for coming along on this adventure with me and all of the adventures that I go on. You guys are awesome. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe and like button. Those two buttons help me out immensely. All right, I'm gonna head out, but thank you guys all for being here, and I will see you all later. Stay motivated.